From a heavenly food found in the dizzying heights of dark caves to yet another from the depths of the sea. The sea cucumber is an unlikely looking candidate for the title of delicacy, but in China that is exactly what it is. And it's been so for thousands of years. The sea cucumber, or ginseng of the sea as it's called, was in the Ming Dynasty considered an aphrodisiac. Add to that its legendary nutritional properties and you've got the makings of a heavenly food. But given its nutritional value, it's surprisingly tasteless on its own. Sea cucumber needs the hands and recipes of expert chefs to be transformed into gourmet Chinese cuisine. In ancient days, sea cucumber, having been proclaimed a heavenly food, was only for the enjoyment of the emperor. But with the fall of the Qing dynasty, chefs who were once ensconced in the imperial kitchens of the Forbidden City found themselves able to offer this delicacy to anyone who could afford it. But even then, it was only the wealthy that could. Today, however, China's booming economy has made this expensive delicacy more accessible to a wider audience. And they're snapping it up. <laughs> the growing demand for this heavenly food has affected the natural sea cucumber population. Of the 130 species of sea cucumbers found in China today, only 20 are edible. To fill demand, these are now farmed artificially. This factory in the coastal city of Dalian produces 10% of the annual global output of sea cucumber. But some experts feel quality has been sacrificed for quantity. <laughs> Farmed sea cucumbers are cultivated in a strictly controlled environment, the temperature and quality of the water closely monitored. After a year in the tanks, young sea cucumbers are placed in the sea ranch where they spend six years growing into maturity. Even then, only 10% of the millions of sea cucumbers spawned ever reach maturity. Although they look dramatically different, sea cucumbers belong to the same family of marine life as the starfish. Its natural habitat ranges from shallow tropical reefs to the depths of the ocean. They survive by consuming waterborne decaying matter, which is ironical given its highly regarded nutritional and medicinal value. Some 500 miles inland from Dalian, Beijing's Hongqiao Market is a popular place for the locals to shop for fresh, dried and preserved foodstuff. 80-year-old Wang Yijun is a regular here. Today's visit is to check out the latest batch of sea cucumbers his supplier has brought in for him. <laughs> Chef Wang is very particular about the sea cucumber he buys. He should be. He's quite an expert when it comes to this heavenly food and he's wise to the ways of some sea cucumber suppliers.
，好多都是发好的，发好的呢，他是为了赚钱嘛，自己发的为了好做好吃，这两个特特色，就不不需要让他发的越多越好。Wang is passionate about cooking sea cucumber. It's a passion he's been rewarded for. Fifty years ago, Wang was proclaimed the best chef of China for his culinary prowess and creativity with the sea cucumber. Today, Wang, or the king of sea cucumber as he's known, is an expert on every aspect of this delicacy. The difficulty is where the meat is thin. 送进去，怎么办呢？就投料，第一遍用水串完，洗完了以后，再用鸡汤啊，哎，高汤啊，加上胃，入胃取软，哎，吃起来再烧出来，那味道就是很浓的。Wang has dedicated much of his career perfecting the recipe for sea cucumber. It's a labor of love for him. To promote this culinary treasure that bears the exalted title of heavenly food, a taste of heaven, right here on earth. <laughs>